before we talk about this, I'll, I'll show you every single thing it did here in just a second. But you can see it did in fact generate 26 files. It technically created 23 and modified uh, three ones. This is literally just from a Next.js, you know, create CLI <laughs> type deal. So I didn't write any of this code beforehand. And one thing I want to do, let me just save this. I wanted to show you guys all these new files. So let me just save this to this branch really quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap back to 3.5 just because I want to show you what the same prompt with Claude 3.5 Sonnet did. Um, this is all it did. So it got some of the footer stuff, um, SAS name. It kept like the basic Next.js page here. Um, you can see it doesn't have any of these pages. I don't even think it has the auth pages. Like it literally just did, I want to say it did like five files. I already committed this. Um, but it literally was just like five files. And so if we jump back to the 3.7 branch, this is every single thing it did, guys. So it did the, the main page. Okay, so there's like, you know, there's like a few spacing things that maybe you would change, but this looks like absolutely incredible for an AI that did this in one shot from literally the prompt that you saw in my initial post, which is crazy. Um, so we get like all of these incredible co components in here. You know, we click on... Um, let me actually just refresh this. This is, uh, let me rebuild this really quick. It's just gonna complain because I switched branches. This page does in fact exist. Okay, so we have uh, this features page with an incredible kind of features display here. Um, we have a nice pricing page, right? Maybe you can make those a little bit wider. Um, I wonder, does it, it has mobile responsiveness. Okay, that's incredible. Um, we can go to the about page, right? An incredible about page. It has a blog. I wanna say even it, created pages for the individual blog posts. Okay, maybe not. Uh, maybe there's like a metadata error, um, but that's totally that's totally fine, right? Um, let me go back to local 3000 here. Let's rebuild this really quick. Okay, contact page, right? Really nice looking contact page. Like I said, we had the login page, we have a sign up page. So it did, it did every single one of these pages, every single one of the components you're seeing in one shot, I didn't. I didn't prompt it to like iterate on design. I didn't prompt it to do anything specifically. It literally just was like, "Oh, you want a Next.js SaaS template? Here you go." And I mean, this is like the kind of template that you see in the wild. People literally paying like two hundred and fifty dollars for. Like this is this is crazy. Um, so one other thing I want to talk about really quick is uh, they also are releasing Claude Code, which I've had a chance to play around with for a little bit here. Um, this is a super sick tool. I have a feeling that devs are gonna get really good at using this. It's kind of something like Cursor Agent, but it's like Claude's own CLI, which if you're someone like me and you're like really familiar with kind of pushing on crazy workflows, this thing's gonna be unreal. So yeah, this model is like the best model for code, hands down. Uh, I cannot emphasize like how astounded I am by its creativity. Uh, do doing all of this in one shot is something that you know, many of you know I'm a big fan of O1 Pro, um, and I've also, of the recent Grok 3 release, been a big fan of those models. And they can output that same amount of code, but it, th those models just don't have the same level of taste. They don't have the same level of design sense and creativity. And hopefully, you know, hopefully, like an O3 full when that comes out, maybe that uh, gets there. You know, obviously, like GPT 4.5 and GPT 5 are on the way. So hopefully that. Those models have a little bit more taste, but the, the combination of like being a coding powerhouse while also having tremendous taste is just, just off the chart. I mean, just look at this. Like this is, this is great. Like two years ago when, you know, when like GPT-4 came out or whatever, had you shown somebody this, they would have been astounded. Like this is, I mean, look how good this compare plans is. This is crazy. Anyway, I'm just kind of rambling at this point, but yeah, this is, this model is tremendous. Really, really good job to the Anthropic team. They've been, they've been kind of sitting quiet for a while, and they they really knocked it out of the park with this one.